An Estill County man faces multiple charges after more than 70 dogs were found living in what investigators call awful conditions. Now pause for the cause and other rescue groups are stepping in to find new homes for these animals. Bossy Proco spoke with those trying to help. If these little faces could talk, they would say thank you as they head to new homes and lives. It's overwhelming and it's heartbreaking. This is just a handful of the 73 dogs taken from an Estill County home, where investigators say they were living in awful conditions in cages on top of one of another, and one dog has already died. They're very matted. They have feces stuck to their hair. They have infections in their skin. They have infections in their in their feet and their legs. We, ha we There was one dog there that had half a foot missing. The owner, Dilbert Collins, faces dozens of counts of animal cruelty. He pleaded not guilty in court this morning. Rescue teams hope the animals head to much better lives. When we were driving here tonight, I said, <laughs> this is the first day of your new life. And I think they're all thankful for it. Anita Spritzer with Paws for a Cause says, unfortunately, this case isn't unusual, disturbing, but familiar. We're seeing this more and more, and cases like this are heartbreaking for the animals. 73 dogs is a lot, far too many for the Estill County Animal Shelter to take in at one time. Thankfully, several rescue groups, including Paws for a Cause and Fairy Tales Pet Adoptions, are stepping in to help care for the animals until they can be rehomed. We took 17 dogs total from there. We had another rescue that stepped up and took 19. We've been talking to the Lexington Humane Society, and they're going to probably go tomorrow and pick up a bunch. Spritzer says even with all the rescues, their work isn't done yet. We want to get all the dogs out of the barn within the next two days. So there's 18 females there right now. Many of them are pregnant, um, and there is six males that need to go. Spritzer says that the dogs are not going to be adoptable for at least three to four weeks because of what they went through. Bossy Prokos, Fox 56 News.